Um, welcome everyone to the third video of my editor tutorial series. Um, in this uh, video I am going to show you about basic mechanics for uh, RPG maps. Um, well, first of all, what are RPG maps? Um, yeah, they are maps where you have uh, one single hero or unit or um, it's a small amount of units and um, it's heavily trigger based and you uh, simply walk, uh, walk around uh, the map and fulfill tasks you are given. Um, so I prepared a little map um, but with no triggers in it and um, yeah, the basic idea is that this is your unit and you want to go along the road so nothing fancy in terms of storytelling <laughs> but hey it's uh, for showing purposes only, but uh, there are some units uh, that uh, try to kill you. Well, you're obviously uh, much too weak to kill those three units, so you need help. Here are some uh, mercenaries, or how you want to uh, t um, call them, that would um, yeah, join you, but only if you give them the things they need. And uh, these things are um, yeah, wait for example, uh, 10 wood uh, for the uh, crossbowmen, 10 food for the uh, longswordsmen, and 10 gold for the um, knight. So, um, first of all, here are three uh, triggers, but they are empty. So, um, for the swordsmen, first we'll need a condition. Um, well, you know what? Um, let's try simply um, with tribute. No, let's it's um, unit selected with unit object selected. So when you select the long swordsman, um, and you need to tribute um, source players, of course, you. Uh, amount of 10 quantity and target players play it to whatever uh, so this um, what this trigger will do is uh, if you select the long swordsman um, you will tribute uh, to player 2 10 food and um, um, the unit will um, by the way this is um, player 2 um, although it's a yellow and player three is the really red one, so don't be confused. Um, so this unit will change ownership to player one. So, but if I test this out now, I will show you. Uh, yeah, it's um, kind of black, but you could also utilize utilize it. So, well, uh, let's call it a feature. Um, where is he? So, um, you see, I have zero resources, nothing. But if I select this unit, oh, yeah, well, never mind, I forgot to check if I will be clicked on this. So, uh, the trigger worked. Um, but uh, although I didn't have the resources to pay uh, them, so um, I attributed zero resources, um, but it's. Um, yeah, the rest worked nevertheless, and that's because the tribute is um, isn't is in fact it's no condition. So I need uh, first of all I need the condition um, accumulate attribute um, source player one uh, and food stock pile ten. So you can also choose lots of other steps. It's good uh, for uh, several things like raisings, multi population, and so on. But uh, first of all, we don't need, need uh, food. So um, if you get 10 food, only then this will work out. So what was the second error? Change. Yeah, um, here you can go to objects. You can uh, check which uh, objects you have marked. And here you see there are none. So if I click on this long swordsman and the um, screen centers around him, when I click on uh, go to objects, it's, I, I'm sure that 
he is a selected object. And I'm just going to do the same for the other two units, to condition to, to effects. For the crossbowman, it's actually attributes 10 wood and um, object selected. Where is it? Um, there it is. And then I will attribute from player 1 to player 2 10 wood. And of course I will gain control over these this crossbowman. Um, change ownership player two to player one. And it's the crossbowman. And just the same for the knight. So uh, just bear in mind if you uh, going to do a um, a big RPG or general uh, maps with lots of triggers. It's, um, it's a lot of work, <laughs> um, but I think it's worth the effort. Um, so no. Accumulate attribute. One needs ten gold, and. There it is. So I will tribute from player one to player two. Ten gold and the ownership will change of this unit. Yes. Source player is player two, target player is player one. Alright, so I prepared uh, three little, yeah, like mini crests. Here I got oh, something missing. Um, other guy. Uh, um, just lumber here. Uh, so here I can get the 10 wood if I call this unit. Here I can um, yeah, simply need to gather these berries to walk, walk over it um, simply. And here I need to defeat the wolves to get gold. So, um, what are we going to do? We need three triggers for that. First trigger is the food trigger. So um, this is a real simple one. We just need objects in area, player one, at least one in this area. And the effect of this will be that Gaia play a uh, sense attribute of 10 to player one. But first of all we need to make sure that Gaia has resources. Not this stone, but some other resources. So let's do the second trigger at the wood trigger. And here is also a simple trigger. Just destroy object, select the throwing X-Men, and effect is tribute um, what am I gonna tribute? Uh, source player is Gaia, target player is player one. 
and it's going to be 10 watt. Oops. Yeah. Everything's running smoothly. I guess it is. Just, just checking in case it doesn't work. <laughs> suck. And this is the gold trigger. Gold, not gold. So, at this time I've got three conditions for each of the wolves. Um, destroy object. This one. Destroy object. Where is it? This one. And this one. And the effect is that uh, Gaia sends 10 gold to player 1. Um, gold. So, and um, yeah, most important of all, we need a trigger that makes it possible to win. And uh, that trigger is as soon as um well, let's quickly correct that it's they we don't need that many us there um these are enough um, again three condition and oh let's try something else here we're gonna do a condition. Um, accumulate attributes. Oh, I think I can't do. Oh, it's, oh, I don't don't know, but that if it works, let's go with. Yeah, uh, three times three objects. So it's oh, no destroy object. This one, this one. Uh, I think I'm uh, gonna do more advanced stuff in no, not capture. Let's try. And a uh, further idea is if it's just uh, wished, but for now, um, I think I'm just um, gonna do. Yeah, basic triggers and not use so many different ones. Um, and what is the effect? It's declare victory. Where is it? There it is for player one. And uh, another quite important thing is, um, in my opinion, um, you should yeah keep your starting hero alive. So there's also a possibility to lose. And that is if you lose your starting a light cavalry, you will have lost. So destroy objects. This one. Then um there is now lose trigger, but I simply can declare victory for player 3, so this will be the same as a lost match. And um, what's also, yeah, I think quite important for RPG matches, uh, maps, I mean, um, this um, not uh, always um, every player has units on the map all the time. So we are simply going to place some units in a corner. Um, horse. Player 1. Horse player 2. And horse player 3. So that um, when player 3, for example, uh, player 2, for example, uh, gives all his uh, 3 units to um, so player one, uh, that he doesn't uh, 
those at once because it's uh, um, that's yeah not very it doesn't make really sense I think um, yeah and um, now we should try it out maybe it's even working and if it's not working well it's also a big uh, part of the scenario designing is the back user but I think oops I got to play it in four times speed. Well, we see these are too many, too strong units, and um, I can click those ones, and nothing happens. But when I, for example, where is here are the berries? So I got ten berries, and I can convince the long swordsman with this to join my side. Then I gonna uh, collect the number. Ten wood. Uh, we'll have to take care that uh, the light camera doesn't just die. But hey, so I think he'll stay back this time. Kill the wolves. This one is a dire wolf, it's a bit stronger than others. But that's no problem. Now I got the 10 gold, and the best, that is enough to buy the knight. So, and now I can try to kill those units here. Or not. Well, we just uh, saw my. My light could be dying, and that also showed that it is possible to lose it when you lose the light cavalry. But to make your uh, unit your unit to a hero, um, you could yeah well you could simply <laughs> select a hero to place it somewhere, and they are much stronger and regenerate health and all that stuff. But if you don't get a hero that uh, you would like or would fit in that role, you can also easily um, edit the stats of a unit. So let's do um, let's name a bird, the trigger, and oh, there's no condition, but there are some effects. So first of all, you can change objects names and it's this unit and you can always check if it's uh, green all parameters are fulfilled so you don't need to worry about something then we can change speed and range but that wouldn't make too much sense um, by the way if you um, no, well, um, no, just go with the one additional armor so that he won't die that quick um, let's make two of it and that should be enough well I think I will feature all of these um, yeah, uh, change attributes in another video so let's go with the basic stuff so once again this time in item speed to show that you could also win this uh, thing So, let's get this one. And you see it, uh, he has 0 plus 2 and 2 plus 2 armor, and his name is Bird. Isn't that uh, wonderful? 10 wood, let's get the crossbowman. No. I think I can do this this way again. and this time we'll wait here they start the fight and we'll join in and I'm victorious well that's nice isn't it <laughs> so um, yeah that's basically how they do yeah very basic um, RPG style maps um, well there's still a lot um, 
to to show in that uh, regard. But um, as I already mentioned, I will do other videos about this, um, about the more advanced stuff about trigger chains and um, yeah, stuff like this. So um, I hope you enjoyed um, the footage I delivered, and um, maybe you can. Uh, hopefully you can use it in your own scenarios. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe, comment, like, <laughs> whatever you want to do. And um, if you create any th scenarios and uh, you want to have my opinion on that, um, just send me the link of the workshop and, yeah, I will take a look at it. Um, if you don't know how to publish your own uh, maps on the workshop, I will link a um, discussion, uh, a guide, um, from someone who you know, really knows much stuff <laughs> about the about the workshop, and uh, I'm sure that you will uh, solve your problems uh, within that guide. So, um, see you um, in the next video.